guys welcome back to my channel today I am actually going to be going over something very near and dear to my heart decluttering <laughs> like most people during this time since March I've been decluttering my house I actually started in February with my mom and my sister-in-law Leonis um, doing this declutter challenge where every day you got rid of the number of items of that day of that number day. So like February 1st, we got rid of one item, the second, two items, the third, three items, etc. What I've been doing now is I'm still going through like every day, literally, I'm always on the lookout for things that can declutter. And then I'll kind of compile it and we send videos to each other. So I came up with a list of 21 things. I'm gonna, gonna probably say 20 things and then one will be a bonus. So we'll see. So I'm just gonna go through it quickly. These are some items that you can get rid of quickly, right now, painless, it, it you know these aren't things uh, that are gonna be really emotional just kind of go through and if you have to think about it and if you're not in the mood to really declutter and like get into the nitty-gritty then don't but go you know pick one of these items one of these subject lines whatever you want to call it go through quickly whatever you can get rid of get rid of if you're like oh I don't know if I should get rid of this keep it think about it in a week so let's get started so the first thing, and I do have my little list of things here on my iPad, is extra brushes and combs. I didn't really think about it, but like we all have our favorite brushes and combs, right? And I know some people are really into their hair. They have round brushes, paddle brushes, combs of every length. If you're using them, great. But do you need 17 combs? You know, so like I went through and I had from years ago, years ago, possibly even before I got married and I'm going on 10 years of being married, like a set of combs, not even expensive, like super cheap, but a set. So there's like the rat tail comb, a wide tooth comb. And I had all these combs I don't use. Mind you, I don't use these combs because they're flimsier and my hair is thick. So why do I have them? The next thing, stretched out hair ties stretched out misshapen bobby pins get rid of them go to the dollar tree and pick up a pack of 50 like i do or invest in some good ones there are some eco-friendly ones that last forever old remotes my husband won't let me throw away any remotes so i have a pile of them for him to go through and tonight is the night guys we have so many remotes i'm like there is no need for it like i know we don't need these remotes I know we don't because we have two TVs downstairs. Who needs eight remotes? We don't use our Amazon Fire anymore. Like, can we get rid of them? Also, electronics and things, we really shouldn't be throwing them away. They have to they give off toxins. The plastic's bad. You can recycle them at different places. Not only your regular recycling, but I believe like Best Buy will take back a lot of places. Um, I believe Staples. Is it Staples? or Office Max or one of those places, I think they might also have like an electronic drop off, phones, things like that. So, you know, keep an eye out for that. But old remotes, you don't need them. Here's another one that might seem really random and maybe doesn't apply to everyone, but coasters. Like, why do I have all these coasters? I don't even use them. If you're using them, keep them. If you're not using something, and it's not on display in a pretty way, why do you even have it? It's literally taking up like precious space. Um, expired and unused spices. Next on the list, socks with holes and socks without partners. Guys, just let them go. Let them go. Just release them to the universe okay you are better than holy socks hole filled socks threadbare socks candles half burn candles three quarter burn candles seven eighth burn candles i am notorious for this i like saving the jars and i ha i do use some of the jars for different things i have like some little plants in them like um the draining pot is in those like pretty candle things um, or I'll use it for like a flower arrangement. I have my daughter's bath bombs in one, her like hair ties in another. You know, I do use them, but I don't need as many as I've like emptied out. Just get rid of these candles. They're taking up so much space. On that note also, extra vases. We've all gotten flowers and you know, you get the, it's either a straight vase, a square little vase, or the vase that goes like this. You know, like Happy Mother's Day and there's flowers in this clear glass vase that you can get at the Dollar Tree. Get rid of 
Um, get rid of them. Freezer burned food. Does anyone else have food that just disappears and all of a sudden you're like, oh, what's under all of this? That poor chicken died for me and it's freezer burned and it like that's gross. Or like when you open the ice cream tub and you're like, wow, how old is it that there's freezer burn on my ice cream and the tub was completely closed, you know? Get rid of it, make space, purge. The more space we have, the more we can use and consume what we have. You can see that, wow, I'm not eating this pesto and pesto always goes bad in my house. Is it going bad because I need to start buying less quantities? Like instead of a jug like this big or a big jar, maybe I should get a small amount. Or is it going bad because I have so many condiments that I can't even see the pesto? I love pesto. Um, old pet toys. I just got rid of one of my dog's toys. He is over there just like snoring away. And you know, he's, how old is he now? He's gonna be 11, my little baby man. Um, but you know, he doesn't really chew on some of these toys. I can't get rid of all of them. But you know, he had his time with this one. This one was like over five years old. And it's just time, it was huge too. My kids were playing it, playing with it more than he was. I'm like, there's no need for that. My kids don't need to play with dog toys. They have a million toys. Impractical shoes. Shoes that pinch, shoes that cut, shoes that give you blisters, sneakers that give you blisters, anything that's uncomfortable, just get rid of it. Next, guys, threadbare leggings. If they're not squat proof, just get rid of them. Too many rags. If you, you know, everyone is like, don't get rid of your, your old towels, cut them up and use them as rags. Your old t-shirts, use them as rags. Old socks, use them to dust this. There's only so many things. There's only so many rags you need. If you have old towels, you can donate them to your local pet shelter. You can even just ask like if you have a pet or if you know of like a, a vet, ask them if they accept donations of like old sheets or towels because a lot of them do. They need them, they clean the dogs you know, um, and the cat, like any animals that they have, they'll sleep with them at night, you know? So it, it's like, as we're getting rid of things and decluttering, keep in mind how, like the life after you, it leaves your house. Don't just put everything in the trash and in the recycling. Cause it's as great as recycling is, it really shouldn't be our first option. If we can reuse it, re-gift it, repurpose it, um, those things, giving it an extra life, will keep it from a landfill and keep it from clogging up production at a recycling center and, or possibly still going to a dump if it's contaminated in the recycling bin or something like that. So just be mindful of all those things. Things you haven't sold. You know, there's like, oh, we all have those things that are just like so nice. Those jeans that were $200. Those things that are just like so nice. Those jeans that were $200. I don't, but some, a lot of people do those really expensive shoes or that coach purse that you haven't worn in 10 years and it's not your style, it's too small, too big, whatever, and you wanna sell it and you haven't. Whether you haven't taken the pictures and posted it, maybe you don't even have like a Poshmark account or you've tried and you can't sell it. Like no one's biting. Just pass it on to someone else. You, again, you can donate it, slash the price. If you're asking $80 for something that's like 10 years old, even if it's in perfect condition and it's not working, don't drop it 10 bucks, drop it to like 50 or 40, say half off for you know the weekend and see if anyone's gonna bite. Give yourself a specific amount of time. I have one week to sell this thing. Reach out to your friends. See if your girlfriends wanna do like a swap, like, hey guys, like do you all wanna get like our shoes and purses and like costume jewelry, you know, like costume jewelry is just not like fancy, like actually expensive jewelry. And we can do a swap, get together, have some sangria and like, you know, here it is. Does anyone want my crap? While you're at it, bring your kids toys and do that. Next, old keys. And also the next one, old hotel keys. You know, if you have keys to your old house or your old car or a key you don't even know what it's for, dispose of it. I don't know how to dispose of it. Comment down below if you know. Excess frames. I've gotten rid of so many and I still have a couple. 
not gonna lie. I'm not perfect guys. I'm gonna be completely real with you and tell you like my weak spots too. Um, you know, I have frames, I have so many frames that I've passed on, but there are some that are just so pretty or they go with my decor. And you know, it's just not the same where we're not printing pictures left and right like we used to be like 15 years ago, you know? But just be realistic. Again, if you have shelves and bureaus and just counter space and surfaces that have stuff on them, even if you found a picture for that frame, do you have a place to put that frame? You want to do a gallery wall. Well, wait to buy the frames until you have all the pictures or, you know, till you selected the pictures and the sizes so you know how many frames and what style. Just start passing on these things. I feel like we accumulate a lot of things from when we're younger and we just keep it because it's so cute or it's pretty or it would look nice. We Again, we are better and we deserve more than to have a whole bunch of stuff that we can't enjoy versus just space to live and breathe and see the things that we do have so we can enjoy them. Underused subscription services. I'm just gonna go ahead and cancel my, um, what's it called? HelloFresh. I love HelloFresh, but right now it's just not in our budget. I just need to cancel it. I'm gonna do it. I promise you, I'm gonna do it. Um, and the last thing is pretty packaging. Guys, does anyone else do that? Like, look. I got some skincare sent to me and like the packaging inside is so pretty. This thing, look how pretty this is. Like gorgeous. I'm like, oh my God. And I'm telling myself, don't do it. You need to get rid of this packaging. It's unnecessary. Like you can't keep it. I used to keep like um, eyeshadow palette boxes, pretty packaging. Just, we have to get rid of it. We have to get rid of it. Um, and on that note, just let it go, let it go. Sorry guys, I have a three-year-old and a one and a half-year-old. It's all I hear all day long. Um, that's it, those are my 21 items that you can get rid of right now. They shouldn't hurt. The pretty packaging might hurt some people. But again, you know, I know Marie Kondo's all about like, put your hands on it, think it. Sometimes you need to not do that so that you're not so attached to it and you don't make that emotional connection. Just Yes, no, yes, no. Oh, I don't know. You know what? I'll think about that another day. Just quickly go through these things. Go through your socks today. You know, pull out your coasters tomorrow. Check out the remotes you have. You know, these are just things that clutter up our house. Even if you pick one sock, one hair tie, one bobby pin, one remote, one key, that's 21 items you're getting rid of. You guys can do it. Comment down below some things that you think are quick and easy and painless to declutter. And also maybe one thing that you're like, I can never get rid of this item. It's the most impossible thing to get rid of. Let me know in the comments down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay beautiful, stay blessed.